hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today so on today's video i want to teach you how to make a wonderful back cover for bible this is back cover for bible i will show you the measurements then i'll go ahead and sew the bag in front of you just stay tuned so much for all my subscribers to all my new subscribers, I say a very big welcome to you all. To my re returning subscriber, I say thank you so much for, for subscribing for me. So now let's go ahead for the back. That is the back cover for Bible. So I will show you the measurement now. The measurement for this back cover for the Bible is a 9.5 by 7.5 inch. And this one will be two pieces. Then coming to this one here now, the measurement for this is a two by nine inch. I'm using two by nine inch for this one, and it will be also two pieces. Then coming for the round body of this bag, I came down here. That will be the base. I I got the middle of this. This is the middle of this. Getting this middle now, I measure from here to here as 1.5 inch and from here to here as 1.5 inch then calculating two of them uh, together is 3 inch so subtracting 3 inch from 9.5 inch the remaining one will be 6.5 inch so now i will add this side this side here and the remaining 6.5 inch that will be the round body for the bag i told you i subtracted 3 inch from down here then after subtracting the 3 inch down here, I, I added the remaining one, that is 6.5 inch, because all of them is 9.5 inch down here. Then coming up here now, 7.5 from 7.5 is 14.5 inch. Then I'll add it the 9 inch here. After adding 9 inch here, I'll add the remaining 6.5 inch here. That will be the round body, the side that I'll put the zip. Then this one will be the base. So now let's go ahead and sew this bag together. So coming to the main body of the bag, I'll first of all add this one here on top of this side now. I'll add it this way here. Then I'll add the other one on the other side. So let me go ahead and sew this one first. I'll just sew it round to this one. So let me go ahead and sew the zip with the Round body for the bag. So after sewing this one this way, I will strip on it over to this side to sew it again. So after sewing this one, now for me to get the base for this side, I need to measure this place to know whether they are equal as 3 inches as I measured for the zip. Then, so the measurement now is 2.5 inch. So the base will be 2.5 inch by 4 inch. That will be for the base. So this is the, the base for the back. That will be 2.5 inch by 4 inch. So this is the base for the bag. That will be 2.5 by 4 inch. 2.5 inch by 4 inch. So now let me go ahead and sew it together with the zip. So 
after sewing it, it will be this way. So now the next thing I will do is to join in with the main body of the bag. So I will join in with the main body of the bag, getting the middle point of the main body for the side of the base. Getting the middle point of the main body for the side of the base. Then I will get the middle point of this base also. I will get the two of them. Then after laying it this way, I will join it here together this way. Then I will sew it. I will sew it round with this one. So let me go ahead and do it. So after sewing this side, it will be this way. So what I will do now is to trim out the remaining part of this zip here. So I will trim it out by using this one to measure it out. It will be this way. So I will trim it out here. I will trim it out from here. So after cutting it out this way now, I will hold this one together this way. I hold two of them together this way. Then I will sew here. Then after sewing it this way, I will still turn it this way again. Then I will sew it again. So after that, I will sew the remaining parts for this one. So when I turn it this way, this is how it will look like. Can you see this? This is how it will look like. So now the next thing I will do now is to sew the other side of the bag by getting the middle of this one also. So this is the middle of this one. Then I'll get the middle of the other one. I'll get the middle of this one also here. So after getting the middle, I will join it together this way. Then I will sew it together. So after sewing this bag this way, let me go ahead and turn it over to the good side of the bag. 